Your nerdy best friend here, and I'm so excited to tell you about a new tool. This isn't exactly actually a new tool. It's one that's been around a little while, but they just rebranded it and added some things, and I'm, I'm just thrilled. So what this is is, I'll come back to here, it's called a Spark Post, and it's by Adobe. So when I click into it, I can get all kinds of inspiration to get started with tools. Um, with some templates. So let's say I wanted to personalize this one. April showers bring May flowers and I'm just going to remix it. So I'm going to use their setup uh, and let's just do something silly here. April showers bring nerdy flowers. That's bad. I know. But just to show you that we can personalize it and then I can change the bottom uh, text as well. So the first thing I can do is change the color of everything, the shape, all that kind of good stuff. This is a fun tool. Down at the bottom, let me go back here. You see down at the bottom you have all kinds of options. This one right here is a fun tool. When I click on it, I can move, use my finger to move this around and immediately it changes text. So that's kind of cool. All right, so let's see some color differences. You can see I've got options to change the backgrounds. Perfect. I can change the background of the picture. All kinds of stuff. See how I turned it kind of green? Oh, that's kind of pretty. All right, let's do that. Now, look at the theme. I can do and change all the themes right from here. I can change the photo itself and change just the colors of the photo. And I can change the animation. Now, this is one of my favorite parts for your social media. When I click slide, it's going to create a little graphic that actually has those graphics kind of edge in. Fast, fun, interesting, different. See how that one pans back and forth. See that how that one changes from gray to the colors all by itself. This one uh, rotates the colors a little bit. Fantastic, nice, fun. Let's try that. Then up here, see up here you can change the picture, you can change add text. But if I click that button, all kinds of magic happens. Resize. So, same picture I can do for a Facebook cover. I can do, that one kind of ended up ugly. I can do for a Facebook ad. It changes all of these sizes automatically. What a time saver. Instagram, everything. And then you can modify it from there. YouTube thumbnail even. Etsy cover. You name it, it's going to change it. If I want to, Let's, let's just leave it like that. And then I can see how that's not really fitting anymore. You can play around with it, change what it is. Whatever you do, it's so fast, so easy, so fun. And there you go. Now, when I go to share it, it gives me a few options. I can do uh, a live photo, which is a fun thing that kind of animates a picture you have. I can do an image or I can save it as that video. And when I, let's say we want to save it as a video, it's going to create the video and then it's going to give me some options for saving. Now with Adobe, this Adobe tool, it's a little bit uh, stubborn about where and how you can save it. That's one of the things it controls and it'll put a br some branding on there unless you share it. I've already shared it with other people so you got to watch that. But right now it's 100% free. Right now there are all kinds of options. I'm showing you the iPhone version, but there are a whole bunch of versions like uh, um, there's iPhone and then there's the web. So you can do all this stuff on the web as well. So Android people, don't be sad. You've got options as well. Thank you guys so much for spending some time with me. This is your nerdy best friend saying nerd on.